Friday. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, we are going to be working on these shelves my husband built for me. This is going to be a nighttime decorate with me. I'm recording Thursday evening and my husband worked long and hard on these four shelves. We had all this open space and I thought, well, we could hang some artwork on either side or we could build some shelves and have places to decorate through the seasons. And my husband has built these shelves for me before, so he said, I can go whip those out for you. And he did a fabulous job. He matched the color to the fireplace mantle. And now I'm excited to decorate. I'm gonna take you down, show you the space, and then we're gonna get started. I will be decorating differently, actually much differently than I normally do. And I hope you guys will enjoy the change. So this is the view above. Moving down, we have this beautiful stone fireplace. And we had all this empty white space right there and there. And so we felt that the shelves were a great way to kind of fill in that space and would allow me to decorate through the seasons. So I think my husband did a really good job on these shelves. They're very soft and smooth and I love them. So we've got two there. and then two here. Okay, and so now that you've seen the space, now we can decorate. Let's start over here. Okay, so to start, I have these two black modern looking lanterns. And what I'm gonna do is pop an LED flameless flickering candle in both of them, and then you'll see what I do next. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place one up on the top shelf and one down on the other shelf. And so they're gonna be diagonal from one another. Yeah. And so that is what we have so far. So we've got the tall one there and the smaller one there, diagonal from one another. All right, let's add some more items. Okay, I have to say I'm totally obsessed with these staging books that you can get on Amazon. They look like the real decor books you can buy for your coffee table, but they're cardboard. This one is the Elements of Style, and this one is Style Guide. And when you put them together, they look beautiful and stylish, I might add. And now I'm gonna go in with these Nordic style candle holders. I found them on Amazon, I love them. They're the exact same height. Um, and if you can see, they have a just a very pretty subtle design on both of them. I also love them because they lend themselves to a very pretty sculptural look, which is what I'm going for. Now, in order to elevate one a little bit higher than the other, I'm gonna go in with this wood beaded riser I also fan on Amazon. So I'm gonna elevate one and then do one lower next to the books. And now I'm gonna go in with this beautiful greenery pick I found at Michael's. Okay, so I sort of spread out this little greenery pick and I think that adds a softness, so I love it. So I've got the pop of black, which is the modern aspect. I've got the beautiful white, soft, creamy candle holders and I love the little textural element and the pop of green. And then I love these stylish books that kind of tie the black in with the lantern 
and the brown book ties in with the shelf. So I really, really like this. And from down below, it looks pretty. Now I'm gonna add in this print with a black frame. I'm really into botanicals right now with it being summer. I just think it's fresh, it's clean and pretty. And a little bit on the modern side, I'm going to just sneak it in right in the back. this beautiful sculptural modern looking vase to this I'm going to soften it with this greenery pick that matches the one above and all I'm going to do is stick it into the vase and sort of let it drape off the side <laughs> kind of follows the the arch of the side okay and now I'm gonna add one more thing another sculptural piece I'm gonna go in with this beautiful vase that has these light colored striations and I really love the look of this very high-end right now and so what I'm gonna do is place it right there <laughs> different for me as far as the aesthetic goes but I'm really 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 enjoying the change and I wish you guys could see how great it looks in person so now let's move on to the other side Okay, up on the top shelf, I'm gonna go in with this olive tree that I got from Target. I don't know, I think it was like a year ago. I love the pot and the little textural look and feel it has. And of course, I love the olive branches. I think they're so pretty. It'll look great right up on the shelf. <music> box but I'm going to turn it this way because I don't want to see the stripes so I'm simply going to turn it this way and to elevate my sculptural looking candle holder I'm just going to sit it on the book box like that to elevate it <music> Honestly, wasn't sure if I was gonna like that little sculptural modern candle holder, but I love it. Look at the shadow it casts on the wall at night. Uh, very, very pretty, I love it. And up above, I'm gonna bring in another one of those vases that I put over there on the bottom shelf. So I'm gonna go up on the top shelf, sort of creating that diagonal effect. And then I'm gonna go in with this faux air plant. It's funny, I always thought these were weird looking, but now I'm like obsessed. I think they are so cool. And I think even more so cool during the summer months. I just think they, they remind me of a palm tree. Anyway, I got these um, at Michael's, but you can also find these on Amazon, so I'll link them below. And I believe I also saw this on Amazon. But look how cool that looks. So I am going to snug this next to 
that candle holder and I'm just gonna put it next to it. I'm going to fill in some of that white space with this piece of artwork, which is the botanical piece. I'm gonna place that. Okay, now I have two books and I'm simply using these as a way to kind of elevate my next piece. So I have this coffee table book called Cozy White Cottage Seasons, and I'm going to turn it this way. Again, because I just don't want the stripe showing, I'm going to do it this way. And now I'm gonna go in with this beautiful vase. I don't know if you guys can see the striations in it, but it's really pretty. I'm going to tie in what we did above with yet another air plant. I just think this looks so fun for summer. Hand on my heart, never felt these feelings, ever felt such a spark. Don't know how to deal with being this close to love. We just made a like I've always known ya. I've always known ya. And the last thing I'm gonna add is this beautiful vase. I don't know if you guys can see how it's got the crisscross colors. It's, it's white, beige, gray, and light gray. And it's really pretty. And now I'm going to tie in, in this greenery pick from over there. And I'm bringing it over here. What I did here to sort of make it look balanced is I pushed this one back, I brought this one forward, and I think it sort of like gives it dimension. Anyway, I think it looks great. I love it. I love the warmth of the wood. I love the pop of black. It gives it sort of a more modern look. And I love the books. I love the height. I love it all. It adds height, it adds drama. I love the lights below, it kind of uplights things. I couldn't be happier. video today. I thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'm wishing you all a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and I will see you guys next week. Mwah! Bye guys!